This week, Rosalind P. Walter, one of the most generous and devoted supporters of PBS programming, including the News Hour and News Hour Weekend, died at age 95. Her name has been a constant on the credits of programs like American Masters, which she helped launch, to great performances, to Ken and Rick Burns documentaries, and dozens of other programs since the mid 1970s. Rosalind P. Walter served as a trustee at WNET for more than 30 years and became the station's most generous individual supporter in its history. But most people don't know that Rosalind P. Walter was also the inspiration for a 1942 hit song, Rosie the Riveter, and the posters honoring the women who worked in U.S. factories during World War II. She's making history, working for victory, Rosie the Riveter. In the early years of World War II, Roz worked as a riveter on the night shift at a Long Island aircraft plant making the Corsair fighter planes. They um, had to find out where the women could earn the same pay by doing the same job, so they timed me after I'd learned them all, and I uh, broke all the men's records. They had to pay the women the same amount. She was never known as Rosie, always Roz, but the song was born. Rosalind P. Walter was born into a privileged, wealthy family. Her father was president and chairman of the pharmaceutical company E.R. Squibb and & Sons, and her mother was a well-known educator, poet, and writer. But her parents refused to allow Rosalind to attend college. She once said that she chose public television as the focus of her philanthropy because she, quote, wanted all Americans, whether they were rich or poor, well-educated or not so well-educated, to have equal access to news and knowledge and the arts. Her legacy is ours to carry on. Thank you, Rosalind P. Walter.